Link learning is an approach to high school that connects high quality demanding academics and math, science, English, social studies, foreign language with demanding technical education around a major industry theme like biomedical and health science or agriculture and natural resources, uh, architecture, construction, engineering, digital media design and so on and uses that theme to bring real focus and coherence uh, to what students do in high school over the three or four years that they participate in Link Learning. Link Learning is really an attempt in some ways to reinvent high schools as we know it. It's the biggest single initiative that I think most of us feel is the antidote to improving high school graduation and ultimately student success. Like when I got into high school, um, I didn't have like a sense of direction. I didn't have a uh, a reason to go to school like myself like I didn't know why I was going to school but I came in here and it just transformed me completely it's like the field trips I got to go on I got to witness them do CPR I got to take the tests that they got to take the anatomy and physiology tests the medical terminology tests and it just kind of like transformed my mind and just like it just taught me like what what there really is outside in the real world there are very few problems in the real world that are solely mathematics or solely science. And so link learning really emphasizes and gives students the opportunity to integrate academic knowledge with technical knowledge and skill to diagnose and solve real world applications. As teachers, we very much focus in on our one area of expertise. And I think one of our shared frustrations was that students do not see the connection between what happens in their first period social science class and their second period English class and their third period math class. And so for us, it was very important to show students how all of these things are interrelated. Like they'll bring their stories in here and ask me to read them. I'm not the English teacher, but they want to share what's going on in all their classes because they understand that it's connected between all of us. It's not just going on in one class and I don't know what's going on. It's going on everywhere and we talk about it all the time. A website you're making about crime time, you expect it to be just in your media class, but then you go to math and you learn about like how you can figure out somebody's height by just knowing their footprint size. It's like Really, you can do that and like how it's all incorporated into one thing and how you can connect so many different subjects and tie it all together. Link learning differs from the traditional high school experience in that there is a real focus on real world application. When I was a high school teacher, I was able, with my biology and ecology students, to engage them in first-hand research and first-hand field work where they could see the connection between what they're learning in the textbook, what we learned in the labs, what goes on in the real world. It's rare when you go to a traditional school and you have this kid excited about doing the A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I can't wait to go do that. You know, they'll do it because they, they're going to get a grade at the end of the day. Uh, but they don't get that excitement. On the other hand, if you start uh, having those kids build something with it, they forget about the grade. It's more about Let's see if it actually is, is going to work. They get excited about it. And they're doing all this math without actually realizing that they're doing this math. We found that this bridge could hold 149 pounds because none of the members um, surpassed the maximum compression and the maximum tension. We want to transform our schools' pathways. Link Learning is a great way to um, help our schools work more effectively and really uh, serve more numbers of kids, leads to higher graduation rates, higher test scores. I mean, the data is already out there. To have a successful pathway, um, clearly work-based learning is a key component of it in industry engagement. Do you see anything on the x-rays? Do you see any injury? Yes, I see a fracture right here to the ulna. It appears to be. Oh, that's pretty good. You know the bone as well. Coming here really lets me see what, uh, what really goes on. What is it that they really deal with, not just hearing about it or reading about it, but actually get to participate and see it firsthand. There's absolutely no comparison. When you're standing in an office and uh, seeing real life patients and experiencing their problems and seeing how the doctor approaches them, you can't learn that in a textbook. And whatever issue that they have a question about, they could go back and read about it and it becomes alive for them. Well, I think a common misconception of pathways is that students come into these pathways and then they're locked into these career choices for the rest of their lives. And it's not like that at all. When students come into these pathways, um, 
even if they're not interested in, you know, in performing arts, for example, the education that they'll be gaining in the Pathways program will help them in whatever future career or college that they'll be going into. So for me, um, the skills that I'm gaining at this school and, and in my internship um, of you know those communication skills are really what will be important to me and being able to communicate ideas. Through establishing these relationships between business and our kids, there's a sense of personalization that takes place. There's a sense of connection. I just got the support, I guess. Because I know elementary and middle school, I didn't have any support. There was no programs that helped me. But as soon as I got to high school, somebody asked, said that they wanted to help me, I took them up for their offer. That made me a better student. Here at school, we have this cure period, which is 30 minutes that is like a tutor period. So um, students who need help can go into the teacher's classrooms and actually ask questions, get homework help, and they'll come and give you one-on-one -on -one support rather than, oh, okay, well, you're failing. Well, then, okay. If the community owns this, if businesses and industry own this process, that they don't see it as simply a school thing or another trend, they're going to help give the community a sense of wholeness. We have to create new partnerships. We have to create partnerships that are unlikely, partnerships between business, K-12 and post-secondary, community-based organizations, parents and students, all coming together to create a guiding vision for what the high schools of today should look like. Link learning is a focused way of, of bringing coherence to many different aspects of the high school experience and helping students better understand, why do I need to know this? 